Bob, what's going on over there, buddy? Hey, Eric, we are cooking up some good seafood over here with the Aquamarine Grill. It is located in Palm Beach Gardens here at the Legacy Place. So we are joined this morning by Kevin Sawyer to my right and Chef Stephen. And what was your catchphrase you just said? Stephen Labiner, thank you. Steven's my name and cooking's my game. That was the one I was looking for. Thanks, Beaner. <laughs> All right, That's Kevin. <laughs> a Beaner? Beaner? No kidding. All right. So, Kevin, take us through uh, kind of what you guys do as far as your specialty and what we're looking at here. Well, Chef's going to prepare you a nice appetizer today. Uh, it's fresh sea scallops pan seared with our brown butter caper sauce. It's on the menu every day and available for you. Um, it's a delicious dish, which he's going to talk about. And it's just one of the nice fresh seafood products that we offer every day. All right, take it away, Beaner. Well, we're working with U10 scallops. It's the largest of scallops right now available. It's a dry scallop. That's it's those these right are there. these right here, and they're they don't have a lot of liquid to them. They're nice and dry and very very sweet. If you cook the scallop perfect medium rare, you're going to have the best of both worlds. You're going to have a great protein product and a great delicious dish. Now, just briefly, what did you put in this? Uh, this is ahead a of time? this is a very light olive oil and clarified butter, which we use at the restaurant. And what we're going to do is we're going to get a, a nice golden pan seared scallop on both sides. At the restaurant, obviously, we were working with higher temperatures and higher BTUs right now. We, and, and what we're going to do is create a very nice caramelization of the scallop. We're going to reverse it, turn it over, and we're going to deglaze the pan with a, a trio of products, a lemon juice, a roasted fish stock, which we use at the restaurant. We make all our fresh stocks, all our fresh soups at the restaurant. And this particular dish will be deglazed and what we'll do is we'll create an emulsification of the sauces, the combination of the lemon juice, the white wine Worcestershire, the roasted fish stock, and the capers, and we'll bring it all together with some whole butter. So what do you do with all this? Let's fast forward uh, for a moment. What, we're gonna, what, what is this, for example, right This here? is a compound butter made with capers, and it's a stabilization to actually, for this particular process, to give me a little better binder on my you product. put this in here? What we're going to do for you right now is we're going to deglaze first with a little okay. lemon juice. This will bring up the fawn from the pan, all okay. the color from the pan. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit it with the roasted fish stock. Okay. This roasted fish stock is made from beautiful grouper and snapper bones, reduced down for about an hour, hour and a half at the restaurant. Some fresh vegetables roasted Smells in the good. oven. Oh, it's awesome, Bobby. This thing is like mm. amazing. Can't wait to try it in a minute here. <laughs> We're going to then take some nonpareil capers and give it, it's got acidity to it. It's got that nice caper bite. It's got a little vinegar in it from the uh, preservatives and the caping capers. And then we're going to let that reduce. The key ingredient is the white wine Worcestershire. This brings the whole dish together. It's like uh, dark Worcestershire Lee and Perriums, but it's a white wine Worcestershire that I like using when I'm cooking. And now what I'll do is I'll bring together that dish with a little bit of the compound butter. Um, this will bring it all together and a little bit of fresh butter. So if you really look, it's a very nice dish. I mean, you see a lot of butter, but obviously it's just, just very, very flavorful. And in fact, Stephen, if you want to see what this finished product looks like, it's we will have it right over here for you. There it is, and that looks terrific. I'm going to go ahead and munch on that in the break that we are about to go to right now. If you're interested in heading over to the Aquamarine Grill, it is located in Legacy Place here in Palm Beach Gardens. We're back after this. Thank you. Time now, 821. We hope you're hungry this morning. You're looking at some live pictures of what's cooking in Studio B from the Aquamarine Grill. Looks good. Eric, we are, and we are mixing up some seafood this morning and joined by Stephen Labiner. You may know him from his old restaurant down in Coral Springs. What is it? Hobo's Fish Joint. Hobo's Fish Joint. Well, he has now joined the team here at Aqua Marine Grill in Palm Beach Gardens. So tell us what we are cooking up here in this pan. Looks good. Thank you, Bob. Um, this is a yellowtail snapper. It's a legacy style named after the area that the Aqua Marine Grill is in. We're going to be preparing this yellowtail. It's about a nine ounce portion of snapper. We do this at the restaurant on a daily basis with um, basically a quick pan sear of the yellow tail and then we're going to hit it with some nice basil, fresh basil and some nice fresh garlic. By the way, um, the Aquamarine Grill features fresh seafood on a daily basis. We also do some stuff for the land lovers. We do a steaks and 
pork loins and the incredible rotisserie chicken. All right, so what are you doing here? You're flipping this I'm over? I'm flipping it over so I can get some cover and some flavor infusion into it. I've roasted some garlic cloves in, uh, in this process to enhance the flavor so that you guys can enjoy it a little faster. And this is something you could do at home, too, as well. How long would something like this take? So this is awesome. This is about 12 minutes. 12 minutes in a pan, you're going to be braising and roasting and pan searing all at the same time. Yellow and red tomatoes, you can find them at Whole Foods, Publix, or anywhere else. And basically the dish, now we're going to do some deglazing. That's to get the flavors off the bottom of the pan. And the first thing we're going to do is what I love is the, the Worcestershire. It's a white wine Worcestershire, Lee and Perrion's. I enjoy that very much. Me too. And then we got the vermouth. I use a lot of vermouth in my cooking. I don't like Everybody it. loves vermouth. Especially with a nice dirty martini. Yep. No vermouth, <laughs> just straight martini. <laughs> and some beautiful roasted fish stock. The roasted fish stock, you reduce down some fish bones, some mirepoix, nice yellow um, uh, vegetables and We've got a beautiful thing happening here. And okay, so so we've got the vermouth in here. We've got the Worcestershire sauce. We've got some of that garlic butter. We're, we're all cooked up here. And now what are you adding? A, this is a little tomato basil. It's, uh, people would call it a, a marinara, but this is a tomato basil. And this gives it an opaque flavor. And what we've got here is basically the finished product. And what so you kind of let it simmer then? Simmer and braise in the sauce to get the flavors so the fish sucks up all the great juices and flavors. And now I'm gonna finish it up with some butter. A little whole butter. We call this a compound butter. And basically this is the dish. This is the dish that's completely finished. Remember that at the restaurant, we do a lot of catering. Holidays coming up, we'd love to do some catering for anyone out there in the Palm Beaches or all over the place. And this dish basically would be considered done. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plate this dish for you. I'm gonna basically. And that's my favorite part is the plating and then the post plating when we go ahead and uh, put it and in your stomach. <laughs> over pasta, over, over a nice pilaf, over a jasmine rice. It's pretty awesome. That looks fantastic. I know what I'm going to be doing legacy. here in the break. Snapper All right. Legacy. Steve, thanks again for joining us. The chef at Aquamarine Grill. It's located here in Palm Beach Gardens.